this guy's uh, ready to go. Uh, you know, we did a good job in the glass the first half, uh, and as a result, we're able to hang in there. Uh, we did not do as good a job in the second half, especially late in the game. Uh, and then, you know, we're in probably the top 90th percentile in the country of teams that don't foul, and uh, tonight we fouled 25 times. And, uh, obviously, when you come on the road and get outscored by 18, Number zero, Marcus Foster. Marcus, what would you think of Dean Carrington facing him in the game he played? Uh, we knew coming in he was a very talented scorer, and we knew his numbers, his scoring numbers went kind of down. So we knew at any given moment he was given for a big night, and you know he was on point tonight. He was giving us trouble in, in every way, in threes, getting to the basket, finding his teammates. He's a real good player. How did you try to adjust to him? Uh, yeah, it was just one of the nights for him. You know, we tried everything, you know, hard hedging him, trying to double him a little bit, trying to make him go to his right hand, but he just had it going tonight. How difficult was it losing a player as good as Marks, and, and uh, how do you cope, and how long does it take for you guys to cope losing such a great player? Uh, it was definitely hard for us. I think at first we didn't realize how much player? he meant to us. You know, he was just good for us on transition and, you know, finding guys open in transition. But, you know, he does it all for us. He's our vocal leader. He's our best defender. You know, he, he brings it every night. And to me, he's one of the best uh, college players. So it's definitely hard. But I think I think we're figuring it out. I think if we would have slowed down Carrington a little tonight, I think we would have had a better chance of winning. And being more physical on the defensive rebounds would definitely gave us a chance to win. But overall, I think we're, we're figuring out how to play without Maurice. Is Maurice still involved with uh yeah. Well, uh, he's recently uh, in Philly trying to get his rehab done. He just had a surgery in Philly, so we're waiting for him to get back and you know hopefully see him and you know he'll be back. You know trying to coach us up and help us out. Take two more. This game seems to kind of have a lot of intensity with this back and forth. Could you tell with Team Hall? Something that seems to be a depth of team given that this tournament Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, we knew that coming in, they were they were uh, itching for wins, and you know we knew they were going to bring it, and we knew Delgado was going to be very physical, and you know I, I love playing a game like that, a lot of physical calls out there, and you know guys just battling. It was a very good game. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, guys are going to key in my scoring and try to stop me from scoring, so I'm definitely trying to find my my teammates because you know back in. When we played Georgetown, it looked like guys were all just trying to score, and it's hard to fill a void where Maurice Watson is, you know, just dribbling and getting assists for everybody. So I'm definitely trying to look for my teammates more and try to get our assist totals up and fill the void of Maurice. Thanks, Marcus. Continue with questions for Greg McDermott. Well, he's not in a slump anymore. So we took care of that. Uh, he was really good. You know, he, he made shots early. Uh, you know, once he's making threes, and it really forces you to uh, to chase him off every screen instead of maybe going under a few of those to try to contain the dribble. And, and uh, then he gets downhill, and he's so powerful. And uh, you know, he finished around the rim, and obviously got to the free throw line 22 times, which is uh, uh, I'm not sure we've given up 22 free throws to a team all year, uh, let alone one guy. Greg, what do you think of uh, Angel Delgado's his, his battle with his head inside? Well, it's uh, not a real fair battle right now in terms of strength. Uh, you know, Justin's very skilled and he's very agile, uh, and Angel's really powerful. And, uh, you know, those offensive rebounds uh, when the game was in balance in the last three minutes were really the difference in the game, and uh, he was involved in most of those. You, you, you got to watch. I've got to watch it on film before I overreact to it. Uh, you know, they're they're physical and and, uh, and you know, obviously, uh, really good rebounding team, the best in the league. And, and we kept them in check for a good portion of the game. 
uh, for 30 minutes or so, but the last 10 minutes have really got away from us. Well, you're trying to get to their shooters, and you know we're plugging up the lane a little bit to try to help on Delgado in the post. And then when the shot goes up, you have to get out of that help mode and get and go execute a physical blockout. And at times we did that really well, and uh, at times we didn't. Any other questions? Thank you.